In this demonstration, we'll walk through the scenario of an organization that manages inventory uh, and does drop ship sales orders. So essentially, the items never make it into the customer's inventory. So in this scenario, there are five steps. We'll create the sales order, we'll generate or create the purchase order, and then in the process, we'll drop ship to the customer and then we'll post the sales order and then post the purchase invoice. First, we'll go ahead and create the sales order. So currently you see we have six open orders on our homepage here. So let's go ahead and click, click on a new sales order up in the ribbon. You could alternatively look at the bottom tiles and the plus sign here. So we'll create a new sales order. And in the customer, you know, I'll type in the letter C here and you'll notice that the customer is available coho winery and then i need to just enter in the line information so i'll highlight the line item and i'll select the ellipsis here i can manually type this in uh, we'll go ahead and order the athens desk and then the quantity here will just be one and now the last step I need to do is you'll see between the description, the quantity is a checkbox that enables me to handle the drop shipment. So I'll select on that and then I'm done with just creating the sales order. It's been saved. So next I'll go ahead and create the purchase order. So the sales order that's been entered, the next step would be to create that, that PO, the purchase order. Uh, and you notice also that my sales orders went from six to seven. So from the ribbon in the business manager role, we'll go ahead and select on the purchase order. I'll enter in the, the vendor name and also the vendor invoice number. Those are the required steps here. So I'll select on Fabricam and I put in the, uh, the vendor number. And now as I go to enter in the items, I wanna make sure that I do select the sell to customer. That's down at the bottom right corner. And so for this, Coho Winery was the sales order that we had placed uh, that order for. And then under the Actions tab, what I'll do is I'll select on the Drop Shipment and say, go out and get that sales order for me. And so it looks for all the orders that were under the Sell To for Coho Winery. The last one in the list is the one we created. And now you'll see that it brings that order over into the, uh, the purchase order. And then I just post that. Now, since the vendor is going to ship it, uh, we'll receive the items and, and we'll, we'll go ahead and select, select OK. And, yeah, and you'll notice here the quantity received as well as the quantity invoice. And then when I close, you'll see I get a copy of the purchase receipt. So we can copy of that and that can be distributed electronically. Again, at this point, the items have been shipped to the customer directly. So now let's go ahead and post and invoice that customer. So we'll go back to the orders tile and here's that order. And then we'll go ahead and select it by clicking in. So I got that sales order that we had entered in. And now I can either post or post and send. We'll go ahead and post and send that. And now I'm invoicing the, the customer. So the sales invoice has been generated and can be electronically distributed to the customer. And now you notice I no longer have any of the sales order that's been moved. And then you'll notice that my customer's balance now is uh, $2,200, a little bit different than what we saw right before I posted it. When I open up on that post invoice, you can see where that is. Here's that order. So I get a trail. And then if you really want to continue down the audit trail with the order highlighted, you could select navigate. And then we could select into the GL entry. And then you could see the distributions of that particular order. Right, we'll close out of that. And then the last step is to go ahead and post the purchase order. So I'll go into purchase orders right here. And I have three, there's the one that we just placed. And I'll go ahead and invoice that. And then we'll close that. And then if I go into my dropdown of my financials and I select on purchasing, 
you could see where that posted purchase invoice exists. And we'll come back out here. So the design of that presentation was just to show increased productivity, how we improve customer service, and also streamline our inventory management system.